Hey everyone, it's Alyssa from Alyssa's Bake Shop and today I'm going to show you how to make a fall themed cookie cake. This is a 13 inch round pan and this is a chocolate chip chewy cookie cake. It's one of my absolute favorites. I'm also going to be using American buttercream and we're going to dye it different colors with a mare color. And I'm going to put links to everything down below because there is a lot of things that I'm using in this video. So this is a bit more intermediate design just for the fact that we have to use a lot of different supplies. I'm also using a coupler today which I highly suggest because it saves on piping bags and it just makes it really easy to change tips when you want the same color. The first shape that came to mind was a football. My family is big into football and I do watch it sometimes so I decided this would be a good fall shape. We outlined it with a number 3 tip and I'm switching to a Niteco number 44 tip. This is a flat tip so it's just going to help us to get a really nice kind of wavy pattern. At a 45 degree angle, I'm just going to gently squeeze the piping bag and move back and forth. I switched the number 3 tip over to a new bag of icing. So we have some white buttercream that is going to be our football laces by just piping little tiny lines over a curved line. Our next design is going to be a piece of pie. So I'm using the number three tip to make a triangle design. Are you more of the filling person or the crust person? Personally, I love the crust. I always wish that there's more crust and filling, but I've really kind of grown to appreciate how both of them work together to taste good. Now I am gonna be using that flat tip number 44 again. Then I'm going to smooth it out with an offset spatula. If you wanted to make this a pumpkin pie, you could change up that color to orange and then we can put our lattice using the basket weave tip or the Wilton number 46 tip on top. And then after that, I'm going to go back to the number 44 flat tip to make our crest. That's why a coupler is so nice because you can just switch things out without having to use multiple piping bags. I am going to add some sugar just on top for a cute little extra detail and then I'm using a Wilton number 21 tip to make our whipped cream which is really important part. Next up I'm going to be making some pumpkins so I'm using a Wilton 1M tip or the rosette tip to try to create some really cool looking pumpkins. I love using this tip for pumpkins there's something so nice about it and then I decided to add some mini pumpkins and then after that I realized hmm it kind of looks like Mickey Mouse and I'm going to actually add another pumpkin later in, in the video but that's going to be at the very end. So I did use the Wilton number 21 again and a leaf tip in order to add those details and our fourth design is going to be a latte so I'm using the flat number 44 and I'm going to just kind of start piping out that rectangle shape and for this design I was actually having some trouble with this design because the cookie is a triangle piece but the object that I'm piping is a rectangle so I was having a little bit difficulty with the sizing here and I wasn't sure whether or not I should leave this clip in because I kind of did a little bit of modifying so I took my offset spatula and I removed the middle and then I went back in just to make the cup larger because the sizing was just really off to me but this is you know the reality of when you're baking at home and there's always a way to fix things so that's why I decided I would just leave it in because you wouldn't even really know that I messed up and now you all know but I feel like it's okay because we are just having fun as we go. Then I took the warm brown color and I wrote latte on the little sleeve and I did add some little outline on the lid as well. Our next design is going to be a cozy fall sweater. I thought what's a better icon than a fall sweater? So I decided to outline it with a number three tip using this kind of warm brown color. Then I switched back to the number 44 and honestly the flat tip really came in handy so much when I was making this. It's not a tip that I use too often but I've realized how much potential that it has. So you can really leave the sweater like this because this is kind of a cool design but I'm actually going to smooth it out with my offset spatula and the reason why I like to pipe it out nice and evenly uh, to begin with before it's all smooth is because it just makes the frosting distribution a little bit cleaner then I'm gonna go back in with my number three tip and I'm just going to outline and I'm adding some little lines together because I have a vision and we're gonna try to make a really cute knit sweater 
I kept going back and forth and then I just decided I like the little heart pattern. So I'm using the number three tip to just kind of go quickly up and down to make these little heart shapes. And I'm just going to do this all over the sweater and I sped up this clip about 500%, otherwise I felt it would be really boring. But there's just like something really therapeutic when I watch it. I just wanna decorate like 100 different sweater cookies. But honestly, not really because I would have horrible arthritis after that. And then you don't want to forget the little turtleneck part. And I can't believe it, we're already on our last design. So I wanted to do something bright and cheerful and that was sunflowers. To me, fall is about sunflowers and also mums. And I know there's a lot of other different flowers out there, but this just seemed the easiest to replicate. So I made two circles to outline our sunflower center with the number three tip. And then I uh, switched the leaf tip over to the yellow piping bag. And I'm just going to start from the outside and then the inside. So if you pipe your petals in the outside and then add your inner petals, it just layers it in a little bit more realistic way. And then I'm gonna move on and I'm just going to do the other sunflower before we fill in the center. I'm using a Wilton 16 open star and we're going to just pipe the middle of our sunflowers just to make it you know look nice and neat I really thought the star shape would be really cool I was actually looking at a sunflower and kind of trying to like study what it looks like in the middle the center and I feel like it does have a bit of this kind of star look so I thought that it would be cool to mimic that and then I'm just adding some more leaves on with a leaf tip and then I did add another baby pumpkin it made me feel better as much as I love Mickey Mouse Halloween and there's a lot of that out there this was not what I was going for in this video I personally feel that a cookie cake is not complete until it has a border. So I decided to go back in with that Wilton 1M tip and then I'm just going to pipe some cute little stars around the border. And then I decided it needed something. So I put on some chocolate sprinkles and they actually do really taste like chocolate. They're pretty good and they're nice and crunchy. And then the cookie cake was complete. So these are kind of some of the fall things that I think of when I think about fall. And it was just like fun to do something totally different and I love cookie cakes so much and I will share everything like I said in the description and in my blog and I can't wait to make my Halloween cookie cake so I'll see you guys next time